Hey everybody! Today's video is going to be another color depositing shampoo demo. I know I have done quite a few videos like this on my channel before, but today's video is all about Celeb Luxury. They are one of my new favorites. They have a viral line, which is for pastels and vivids, and they also have a gem lights line, which is more for natural and neutral tones. Let's go ahead and jump right into the demo. Celeb Luxury does cater to a ton of different levels and tones of hair. You can see in my before that I have a solid light blonde on my ends and it gradually gets darker as it goes up. So in my after you can see the darker color was not really affected and right where I had my light blonde ends you can definitely see that the color deposited there. The shampoo I used was from their viral line. It's in the color pastel light pink so you can see that this is what the front looks like. And I also wanted to show you guys what the back looks like. You can go ahead and pause the video if you want to read a little bit more on the brand and how to use this product as well as the ingredients. As I said before, Celeb Luxury does have a ton of different shades to choose from, so I did want to show you guys a few of those here. I went ahead and clicked on the Viral Pastel Light Pink that I am using and just reading up on it a little bit more. So you can see here that it does say to leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes, but it really does depend on the level of your hair and how well your color does deposit into your hair. Everybody's hair is going to be different depending on the level and tone of the hair and which color they are using. So I'm going to be showing you guys a tip on what I do in this situation. When using a color depositing product, I do like to use slightly more product than I typically would for my hair length just to make sure everything is fully saturated so there are no splotches and the color is even. So you can see here that I am just rubbing the product in between my hands and holy cow was it hot pink. I actually got nervous at this point. So you can see here that I am just trying to move as quickly as possible and lathering it in from my roots to my ends. I did use a clarifying shampoo before using this just to remove any buildup on my hair, any other color depositing products that I had. But you can see that I did have to go in with a little bit of water because while I was setting up to film, my hair did get a little bit dry. So you can see that I am just lathering it into my hair. I left it on for probably one or two minutes at this point, and then I rinsed until the water ran clear. Doing a quick wash with color depositing products is a really good way in determining how your hair will take to certain products. Every brand and color will be different, so keep that in mind as well. This is just a really good way just to see how well your hair takes to a color. So here is my hair after the first quick wash. You can see that it did not really affect my darker color at all and my ends were fairly pink. And then here is after the second wash, you can see that it did deposit a little bit, but not as much as I was hoping for. So I did go in a third time. The third time around, I used about the same amount of product. And this time I did add a little bit of water on my hand before I lather just to help spread it into my hair a little bit better. I would typically be doing this in the shower, so it would be a lot easier. But for the purpose of this video, I had to do it in my kitchen sink, so it was a little bit harder to show you guys. But you can see that I am just doing the exact same thing, just lathering it in from roots to ends, making sure to really get where that blonde hair is. This time I wrapped it up in a bun and left it on top of my head for five minutes and rinsed until the water ran clear and then did a deep conditioning treatment and left that on for five minutes as well. And then here is the result of that on damp hair. I know hair color is extremely hard to see on damp hair. I always tell this to clients as well. You really can't tell until it is fully dry. But I did want my hair to air dry, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like damp. And then here is what it looks like the next day after I styled it. It ended up looking almost like a dusty rose gold color, which I was a huge fan of. I do plan to leave it on a little bit longer just to see if the color payoff is a little bit stronger. But I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by again if you have been a subscriber of mine. And don't forget to check out last week's video. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye everybody.